Hey guys, I am Subha and in this video, I will share with you 5 biggest KDP mistakes that I made and the lessons I learned from those mistakes. So, I am making this video because I don't want you to make the same mistakes and hurt your KDP sales. These are the lessons I wish I knew sooner in KDP's publishing. So, without further ado, let's get started. The number one mistake I made when I started publishing books on Amazon was creating and publishing books in a hurry. When I first started, my my goal was to publish as many books as I could in a single day. I was publishing low content books, was creating at least 5 covers per day. I produced and published more books quickly but several had below average covers, just ok interiors and even some typos in the titles and descriptions. And what is the lesson I learned from the mistake I made during the early days? Quality always beats quantity. Rushing through the book creation process led to mistakes that hurt my sales and credibility. The mistakes I mentioned was creating bad covers, bad interiors and there were typos in my metadata. That was the lesson. I was getting lower sales and I was wasting my time. Now let's talk about the second mistake. The second biggest mistake I made was ignoring niche and keyword research. I just picked niches that I thought would sell on Amazon. I didn't use the right tools to find out if people were actually searching for those type of books or not. This led to my books getting buried in the search results making it harder for customers to find them. So I was creating books without doing niche research and keyword research. That's why my books weren't getting any sales. Choosing the right niche and doing Doing proper research on keywords is essential to, to boosting a book's visibility in the Amazon search results and getting more sales. Now I spend more time finding the right niches and keywords which I use to tap book titles, subtitles and descriptions. Now let's move on to the third mistake. The third biggest KDP mistake I made was I overlooked the power of a good book cover. As I was a beginner, I didn't realize how crucial a professional looking book cover was in catching up attention buyers' attention. I used to create simple covers for my books that were either too plain, not well designed. This resulted in fewer clicks and ultimately fewer sales. The lesson Your book cover is your first impression. Investing time or even a little money into a high quality book cover can make a significant difference. Now I spend more time creating a compelling book cover by making use of the right colors and fonts. Sometimes I even outsource my book covers to Fiverr. KDP mistake number 4 was not understanding the trim sizes. When I first started creating writing prompt journal for kids, I used the regular trim size of 6 into 9 inches, which was a big mistake. This is because most children's books have a bigger trim size like 8 into 10 inches or 8.5 into 11 inches, making it easier for kids to read and write. The lesson having knowledge of what trim size is the right option for the end user is crucial while creating any type of book. Now I pay more attention to and do proper research about the trim size to match my potential customer's need. KDP mistake number 5 was not promoting my books. When I look back, I feel one of the biggest KDP mistakes I made was not promoting my books via Amazon ads. I used to think that I needed a huge budget to advertise my books on Amazon. I could have easily started with a dollar a day to promote my books. The lesson I learned I learned that spending money on ads gives an initial boost to my books and help them generate organic sales in the long run. Now keeping this in mind, whenever I publish a new book, I run both auto and manual ad campaigns as soon as my A plus content is approved. So these were the 5 biggest mistakes. Let's recap them. Creating and publishing books in a hurry. That was the number 1 mistake. Ignoring niche and keyword research. Overlooking the power of a good book cover. Not understanding the trim sizes and not promoting my books. I hope you will find this video useful. If you want more details on this video and KDP mistakes I made during the early days of my self publishing journey, you can read the article below in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.